Hello. You see his cute little dog right next to me? And that was a gift from uh, my friend who also lives in Bay City. So you could say she's kind of like a neighbor and friend. Yeah, 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 Yazuta. Thank you so much for my doggy. Yeah, yeah, hi. So before I get into this, I'm going to start with what I'm wearing. Right now I have a Nylon Pinky's uh, new wig. It's called Marilyn Style. And I love it. Keep on making these wigs and I'll keep buying them. And it's for my clothing, uh, Bella Polk, Nanette. Love it, love it, love it. Jeannie, please keep on making all this colorful stuff. Because I, I can't get enough of it. I really can't. I need color and wigs in my life. And this outfit was at C88. And I think the new round is going to start in a day or two, I think. Um, my rings are from Yummy. My furniture is made by Plato Novo. Uh, and let's not forget my glasses. They were made by Earthstone. So let's get on with the tea. Um, people, you really need to be careful what you say, okay? This is a cautionary tale. Look at it as a cautionary tale. And my dog's going... A, a squirrel must have fought it outside because he's going nuts. So, here's the tea. So, you know how bloggers fill out these applications for blogger spots to these super popular and not so popular designers? There's this one blogger who applied for a spot. That's normal. Nothing wrong with that. Well, they applied for numerous spots. Let's call this uh, blogger Debbie. So, Debbie the blogger applies for these blogging spots. And at random, she meets a person called, and let's call the person she meets, Tanya. So they become chummy and blah, blah, blah. And they both talk, uh, you know, about stuff for hours, about their interests in Second Life. And Debbie, the blogger, is talking about her blogging. And all the designers she applied to blog for. Then Debbie, the blogger, starts to talk badly about all of the designers. She trashes their designs and even goes on to talk about their personal lives. I'm talking about some deep stuff. Deep stuff. She even talked about one of the designer's kids in a very, very horrible way. So, the whole time that Debbie the blog is talking all of this nonsense, Tanya is just listening and kind of amazed at what she's hearing. She thought that Debbie was so nice. She thought that they had so much in common. And now... All of this mean, hateful stuff is coming out of Debbie the Blogger's mouth. But all of these mean things are coming out, right? Later on that day, Debbie the Blogger, um, she sees that all of her blogging applications have been denied. She even sees that some designers have dropped her as their blogger without warning, without explanation. They just drop her. So she's been denied, denied, okay? You following me here? So it turns out that Tanya, the woman that Debbie the blogger was saying all this bad stuff to, was an alt. And that on her main account, Tanya was a very, very successful designer. And these other brands that Debbie the blogger applied for, to, to blog for, were Tanya's friends and collaborators. So all of these brands that Debbie was saying mean things about were Tanya's collaborators, uh, Tanya's collaborators and friends. People, <clears throat> when you meet people in Second Life, you never know who you're really talking to. And I do not think that Tanya was wrong for having an alt. Lots of designers have alts. And there's many reasons for this. You know, designers get tired of getting messages all the time. They get tired of people asking them for favors. They get tired of being pulled back and forth like a slinky. They get tired of it. So they make an account that they can have a more normal, toned down second life. To where they, they actually have time to enjoy second life. Because when you're a designer, depending on how much content you have coming out and, and 
how many events you participate in, you get really busy. You don't have time to enjoy Second Life, okay? Once upon a time when you first started Second Life, you had all this time on your hands, you were learning things, you were having fun, and after a while, Second Life, if you work here, can become a lot of work. A lot of work, okay? So you make an alt. You have time to, to meet people, to have actual conversations, actual interactions with people. That's not being sneaky or shady. Because a lot of designers, they don't know if people genuinely want to be their friends or if they're trying to be friends with them because they want something. Because they want clothing for free, they want this for free, that for free. People have a lot of ulterior motives. Here in real life, wherever you go, there's people with ulterior motives. And they want to use you. So making an alt to have your bit of freedom isn't a horrible thing. So Debbie the blogger is really pissed off because she finds out that uh, Tanya is actually a designer. She doesn't know exactly which designer she is, but she knows. So she tries to bring uh, Tanya all this grief. Tanya just mutes her and moves on and whatever. But Debbie the blogger is really pissed off. So she goes back and she's trying to sour the name of all these different brands. This was a while ago. But some, some stuff resurfaced, which uh, me and a friend were talking about. And it, it kind of resurfaced this cup of tea. <laughs> this stale cup of tea. But Debbie the blogger recently got caught doing that again. Okay? So... My advice to you people is, if you plan on having a brand and all this other stuff, you can't go around crap-talking designers, then all of a sudden apply to them and be like, oh, I want a blog for you. But this is not only directed towards bloggers, directed towards anybody. You can't go around talking crap about people, then go trying to lick their butt. You can't. It, it doesn't work. It's not very flattering, honey. It's not good for the complexion, honey. It's not. You know, Jesus and a high five to the forehead. You need to stop talking bad about people. But anyways, that was the T4 now. And I'll see you all a little bit later. Uh, soon I might be doing some stuff with Ollie. I'm sure you've seen her videos on, um, on Facebook floating around. She's a very funny and talented girl. Um, I love watching her content, and she does, she's as sweet and as cute as a button, you know? So, I'll talk to you all later. Love you, toodles!